Greetings folks, I wanted to take a look at the CC force motion blur effect. So here I've got a cylinder that I've animated to spin around and as you can see, as it gets faster, we've got some motion blur. Okay, but I don't have motion blur turned on for the layer, for the comp. And indeed, if I did, it wouldn't make any difference. Let's jump over to this comp. Okay, got motion blur on, nothing's happening, it's not blurring. Okay, take that off makes no change because technically this layer isn't moving okay there's no position animation there's no rotation animation if we look at the transform properties it's static okay what is moving is the effect and the motion blur doesn't apply to an effect it only applies to the movement of the layer so what we need to do I'll just explain how I made this just quickly I've just simply got a shape layer okay just a shape layer with some text on Pre-compose those two together, you know, just select them both and choose uh, pre-compose. Okay, done that. And then on that composition, I've added the cylinder effect. Okay, and added some. And on that composition, I've added the uh, cylinder effect. Here it is, CC cylinder. Okay, there it is. And as you can see, I've added some keyframes there to the rotation. Okay, if we go into here. Rotation, you can see on the graph editor for the, there we go, Y rotation, I've used some easy ease. So it starts and then it just, you click on here, you can see, I've just slightly got it going down. So it just goes, so it goes back a little bit and then starts going forward, it speeds up and then gradually slows down. So we have a more natural motion and I can adjust that with these, these handles. Okay, so that was the animation part. So how do I get some motion blur on this uh, if this doesn't actually work? Well, the trick is there's an effect if I go over to the effects and presets called CC, there it is, CC force motion blur. If I drop that on, okay, you can see we get some motion blur added. Um, there you go, when it's barely moving or still no motion blur. As it gets faster, just like the real motion blur, the faster it gets, the more blur gets applied. If you want the blur to look smoother, okay, you can increase the motion blur samples. Okay, so if I type in 16, for example, okay, you can see it takes longer to render, but you get a smooth look. You can take this up very high, but of course it takes a lot more rendering. So if I increase that, say, let's say to 50, okay, you'll get, you see, it's taking a lot longer to calculate this, but if you've got a very fast computer, you can apply more motion blur samples and get a very smooth effect. Okay, so that is how we can get some motion blur applied to layers that don't actually have any kind of intrinsic animation on the layer itself. The animation is within the effect, but motion blur from CC force motion blur should see the motion of the layer and apply a motion blur effect to that. Okay, so I hope that helps and thank you for watching.